This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Hello, everyone, and welcome to day eight of Terrathon. A thriller is a genre of movie which is often confused with horror, to the point where even the most hardcore horror aficionados have difficulty discussing and identifying the difference. So that's what this video is here to do. We're going to examine horrors versus thrillers. Uh, it's a very murky area and there are no definitive answers and it's certainly a question that I've always wondered. How exactly would you tell the difference between the two to someone who had no idea? Well, let's have a go, shall we? So, a thriller is a lot like a horror in many ways, hence the confusion, but they tend to focus more on suspense and mystery, whereas a horror will focus more on a feeling of impending doom. Uh, another very key difference is that when thriller franchises, uh, they often bring back the heroes. Think of Silence of the Lamp, the, ha the whole Hannibal franchise. Since Hannibal himself isn't the main villain of any of the movies, the, the hero always comes back too, unless you consider Hannibal the hero, which some people do. Whereas horror movies tend to bring back the villains, I mean look at the Halloween franchise, Nightmare on Elm Street, all of them, it's the same monster every time and that's a key difference. And thrillers often change the perspective that the audience sees, so we'll often focus on the point of view of the villain and to help us sympathise with them in some cases, whereas horrors will always focus on the point of view of the victims 99% of the time, unless it's like one of the monsters stalking his victims that you sometimes see through their eyes, but generally you focus from the victim's point of view. In thrillers, it's very important that the audience can't predict what's going to happen next, whereas horror is different. It has to be very apparent what's going to happen, or otherwise the whole thing falls apart and it just doesn't work. And horror films are quite formulaic for that reason, and the villain or the monster is usually introduced very early. And as I said before, the thriller can show a sympathetic side of the villain, whereas a horror movie will create total antagonism towards the monster. And thrillers always deal with psychological horror more often. And there's often a mystery aspect to a thriller and the audience follows along with it and tries to figure out what's going on. Whereas horror movies are much more primordial and basic and the audience are treated as voyeurs of these horrible, disgusting events. Some examples of famous thrillers which are often confused with horrors are American Psycho, Seven, Zodiac, Shutter Island, The Machinist, and many, many more. So as you can see, despite there being very, very similar genres, there are a lot of key differences, but even with that, it's still very difficult to tell the difference, but hopefully this will clear it up a little bit. And now just as a little bonus, while we're on the subject of thrillers, I'd like to briefly discuss the erotic thriller, which you may have heard of, though it's kind of a dead genre nowadays. These films were very, very popular from the late 80s all the way up to the end of the 90s, and they combined various genres, so they're quite hard to define, but they usually in were a suspense thriller, and involved a lot of romance and softcore sex. Those were usually the three key ingredients. And they would feature a femme fatale who was a mysterious and seductive deadly woman who would often kill in the middle of the act of sex. And there was also a fall guy in these movies who was an easily manipulated man and he would always fall victim to the femme fatale. And he was often sexualized himself just to give the ladies something to look at too. And this would subvert power dynamics between men and women, especially in the late 80s and 90s. The most popular erotic thrillers are often considered to be the films Basic Instinct, Fatal Attraction and Cruising. And it all started when the film Fatal Attraction featured on a 1987 Time magazine cover and they were everywhere, they were so popular, they were an absolute craze, especially all throughout the 90s. But at the end of the 90s with the rise of the internet, they kind of died out. Now of course I am not saying erotic thrillers are horror, they're obviously thrillers, it's right there in the name. So. So they do have a connection to horror, and in many ways they replaced horror movies for a period in the 80s and 90s. So there you go, a brief history of the erotic thriller, and we've done our very best to define the difference between a horror and a thriller, but it's a question that will be going on long after we're all dead. There's a cheerful thought for you. See you tomorrow. <laughs>